What's up dudes? It's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Home Sweet Home. Alright, so today we are playing as the Spectre. We're playing as Belle herself. The uh, poster girl of Home Sweet Home. Yeah, this is actually a high school student. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I recently found that out. I was trying to, I was like looking up her name. But yeah, look, she's like the same size as the other girls. She looks a lot more mature, huh? It's kind of hard to tell because she's kind of like dead. <laughs> I guess I don't know it's um what it is is like she was an introvert in her life and like she had a crush on this boy but there was all these girls in her ways so she turned to like dark magic and I guess she got like cursed oh yeah I love this the comic sans and the raw <laughs> it's too good dude <laughs> but yeah that's uh one of the other specters the weird looking like prison inmate with a bandages over his over his head it's fun yeah she has little clicky clickies she attacks you with a box cutter how fucking dude that is metal shit like ow man that is like one of those things that i look at i just cringe because it's like oh my god that would hurt so much like any like getting stabbed with anything would suck right but something about a box cutter knife it was just like, ugh. I hate that. Yeah, and then clicky click. Oh, uh, yeah, let's. Okay, so this is the first time we actually see the combat from the Spectre's uh, perspective. Yeah, and right here, uh, since we're in the chase and we maintain this chase, our eyes will start glowing red just like that, right? So it was like Bloodlust and Dead by Daylight. So I, I believe that means Bell will get faster uh, the longer you're in the chase for it. So what that girl used right there is holy water. It will obstruct your vision for up to three seconds. Yeah, I, I believe there's like three charges. So it can make you completely blind for up to nine seconds. And it's so annoying. If um, you get hit with it, you just can't see anything, bro. And it's like, I hate it. Each killer has built-in shield they can activate to like negate like one effect from like a trap or holy water or stuff like that. But yeah, uh, Belle, okay, so this, uh, Spectre, she has the ability to teleport to, um, I believe it's whoever's closest to you. So yeah, use R to use her ability, and you will instantly teleport, um, to a survivor. Oh, wow, we got our first kill really early. Look how brutal that is, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like a little girl, too. That's like... Not, like, some high school girl. That's, like, a middle school. Like, Jesus, bro. <laughs> like, this game is hardcore, dude. Jeez. Yeah, okay, this is the other ability. I think all the specters get access to that. Uh, the, like, spirit dash move. I forget what it's called. Oh, they were trying to juke me and close the door behind them, but they, uh, they flicked a little too hard, and they didn't get out. Things are not going well for my opponents, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like... Oh, no, right? Oh, I think they got a res. Did they get a res? No, they only... Yeah, where's that girl, actually? I don't know. There you go. Yeah, right here, she actually dropped down. And survivors do take damage unless they have a certain perk. Uh, but yeah, right there, you just saw the teleport that I was talking about. That's like Belle's theme she can do. It's actually very useful. If, uh, if you use it properly, I feel like in certain situations, it might be better. Like if you're about to confirm a kill, you can then immediately teleport to an additional survivor afterwards. Oh, right here. I hit them with the box cutter and they were on one HP and they died from the fall damage. That was insane, bro. <laughs> what a combo. Gravity is on my side, man. But yeah, uh, there you go. That's exactly what I was saying. The uh, survivors do take fall damage. This poor girl just got revived. And uh, yeah, that's what that yellow aura around her means. And I wasn't trying to be a tunneler here. It's just like I saw her and I went for her and I didn't see anyone else. I wasn't trying to camp her out of the game. Like, she was just kind of there, and, you know, I went for her. I'm not going to, like, ignore, like, someone 
if they're right in front of me, right? And there's no one else to go for it. But yeah, this is the other map, uh, the Abandoned Hospital. There's currently only two maps in the game, this and the Swamp, the one I showed off last time. I'm not actually sure if any of the killers are like, um, I think the Nymph is connected to the Swamp just based on her aesthetics. She looks really powerful. Oh, they got cornered, but I miss you. Yeah. That's the thing about the combat, you have to be like kind of precise. It does give the survivors a bit of room to like chew Q. And when they do, it's the worst. Yeah, I actually went back because I thought they stayed in that room. It didn't really matter though. You, you have plenty of time. As long as you're like halfway there, you can corner them no problem. This person was definitely putting up a fight though. And yeah, that, that was the second time they died. So now they are out of the game permanently. That's how that works. You have to kill the survivors two times and then they'll die. But uh, once you get one kill, if no one is there to resurrect them, they'll just die regardless. Unless they're that one girl. Uh, what was her name? I played her last time. It was like someone with a J. It was Jane. Jane, that's right. Songs about Jane, bro. Good album. Yeah, this person trying to do some locker shenanigans, but she didn't have the perk that stuns the specter when they get out of the locker. So you can only do so much. If you don't have that perk. Yeah, perks are really important in this game. I've learned. Half of their team is just out of the game now. So, even though they haven't uh, been killed yet. If I can get one kill, then I can prevent them from escaping. Because, like, if it, if it comes down to the last person, the exit will open. Similar to, like, the hatch in Dead by Daylight. Yeah, you see, this person was using the energy drink um very well that's exactly what i was talking about before wow yeah this is a rough spot for them to be in they're doing what they can though the little plink on them and i have learned if you're really close to a specter and you go through like one of these like crouchable walls they can still hit you just like this and they can still uh get that killing blow through the wall so you got to be mindful of that right here is bell's biggest strength she confirms the kill then instantly continues the pressure by teleporting to the nearest survivor this is like the best case scenario position because the last two survivors one of them dead on their first death so the uh the doors won't open until they die so them not being dead is actually a detriment to their teammate. And there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, she's trying to res her right now. You see uh, that yellow uh, circle she has? That's her spirit. Right. Nice. And even though Jane was on her first death and she has the self-resurrection perk... If there are no other survivors alive before she has the opportunity to use it, because it it is on a timer before she can use it. God, jeez, it's so brutal. <laughs> I can't get over these fatalities, bro. Um, but yeah, since no one else is alive, uh, yeah, Jane can't use her self-resurrect uh, ability. Yeah, so situationally, it can be very good, but in uh, certain circumstances such as this, it would just do nothing. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really cool. Oh yeah, you get these like greedy pots for uh like leveling up there, like loot box cosmetic stuff. And uh yeah, it's pretty much pretty gnarly game, dude. <laughs> kinda goes to show I mean they were all kinda new, just like me. It was actually a very evenly uh match lobby for the most part, considering I just leveled up. Alright dudes, hope you enjoyed, that's about it. Uh, that's Bell. A fun character. I still got a lot to learn, but I had fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.